Our first performer is one of the hottest acts in comedy today. You'll recognize him from his one-night stand on HBO, perhaps his many appearances on Late Night with David Letterman and The Tonight Show. It's a real pleasure to have him tonight. Let's welcome Rich Scheidner. Much. Yeah. Great. Feel good? Got a birthday coming up. I'm 37 now, and I feel a little, little different, a little older. You know, like, like you notice this, I get older, it's different watching sports on TV. You know, because it's tough for me to sit there anymore and fantasize about being a player's role 22 and 23. You know, like, the guys my age, we sit there and we start fantasizing about being the team owners. Yeah. <laughs> I should have traded him last winter when he had some value. I win a lot or I'm going to buy that team. That's what I'm going to do. Much different, a lot of stuff different too. Like a lot of things I can't do that I used to like to do. I used to like to hitchhike, you know, the freedom. Just go out, hitchhike, go someplace. But on 37, you can't hitchhike, you know. I mean, if you're driving down the road and you see a 19 year old guy hitchhiking, you may pick him up. But you see a 37 year old by the hi highway and you're thinking, serial killer. <laughs> Good luck, pal. <laughs> Bought a house, that may be the most adult thing I've ever done was buy a house, man. I really. I mean, I, you know, it's just what I don't, you know, you buy a house, as soon as you buy a house, you move in, you get this Ben Cartwright Ponderosa attitude. <laughs> Every time you walk out your front door, you're going, my land! From here to the curb, my land! My tree, my bird, my land! I'm not even really sure I'm adult enough to handle all this stuff, you know? I mean, my wife handles the money, and that's great. Like, we were, we were buying this house. We were sitting in a living room, the house we're going to buy, the real estate agent, she's trying to explain us all different types of financing, you know, the fixed rates of interest, the adjustable rates of interest. My wife's sitting there, she's taking notes, she's paying attention. I'm just sitting there thinking, where the hell's a cable TV hook up in here, anyway? I must have been sitting there going, gobble, 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 gobble. I love being married. I love my wife. There's a lot of things I can learn from women, my wife in particular. My wife's good at getting her feelings out. She's real honest with her feelings. I think it's one of the things that women generally better at doing that than men are, you know. Really, it helps them get through things. Like, really, like, say a guy breaks up with a woman. Now, she may be in a lot of pain, but she'll tell her friends, have a good cry, do some shopping, eat a pint of haagen -Dazs. He's this. <laughs> a woman breaks up with a guy, he'll spend a week denying he even misses her. You know, end of the week, he finds himself chasing small animals with a weed eater. <laughs> she said she'd always love me. Understand, women, it's not like we guys can't do it. It's not like we're genetically incapable of dealing with our feelings. We're just taught from an early age not to. We're taught to be action oriented. Do the job, move on to the next one. Do the job, move on to the next one. That's why it's tough for guys to be just listeners. We'll listen so long that we're going to come up with a solution and move on to something else. This is frustrating women sometimes because she may have one of those problems where she just needs a sounding board. Do you understand what's going on here? Listen to me. Listen to what's going on. She wants to be being made of honor in her wedding. I loved her. We are like best friends for life. But I hate this guy she's going to marry. If I have to stand up why she's marrying him, knowing what I know about him, I'm going to feel like the biggest hypocrite in the world. And I can't tell anybody. I can't tell her mother. I can't tell anybody. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hold, hold, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I got it. Just tell her to marry a different guy. Let's go eat. more verbal. In general, women are more verbal than men. I'm not just making this up. There's a study. I read the study. Women are more verbal. Like, look at it this way. Women have more words to use per day than men. They have a bigger pile of words. So really, women, when you and the guy go off during the day to go do your separate things, the guy uses up all his words. At the end of the day, you get back together again. You've got extra words. He's out. That's why I don't go, so what happened to you today? I, 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 I. Watch the way women hang out together, or men hang out together. When women hang out together, the activity is secondary. Whether they're going shopping, bowling, or a ball game, whatever, they go to hang out, catch up on either other's lives, you know, talk about what's happening, with, you know. When men hang out, uh, activity is first and foremost, whether it's going to be a football game or they're just going out drinking and hanging out secondary. You watch a couple of guys hanging out. They'll spend a whole night communicating with one word each. Yeah! <laughs> Complete conversation for two men. 
See, men tend to be more physical. Men will communicate with high fives. You watch guys, they'll high five over anything. You got cheese in that burger? Oh, Larry! You don't see this much with women. Is that new blouse? All right, Larry! See, there are certain things you guys know are going to happen in a relationship, and we never plan for it. Like, you guys know, after both of you have, have expressed I love you to each other, eventually she's going to ask you, but why do you love me? I mean, you guys never prepare for that. If you guys know you're coming up to this point in your relationship, do yourself a favor, take five minutes out of your day, write down a list, write down a list of why you love her. So when she asks you why you love her, you can blow her mind. But why do you love me? I'll tell you why I love you. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met in my life. Your body fits my body perfectly. I love you because you're intelligent. I can talk to you about anything. I love you because your nutritional habits have been an inspiration for me. I eat better. I feel better since I've met you. I love you because of the way you were with that puppy in the park the other day. She's going to go, Love Master! It's not like we men don't care. We care. It's just that we're not normally going to ask, you know, quick questions. Guys aren't going to go, do you love me as much as I love you? We'll look for physical evidence. Guys will look for signs to see how we're doing. Yeah. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Like, you notice when she's gone for the first time, left that at your place, you know, because guys know this is a great sign when women start leaving personal belongings back at your place. Like, she's left for the day, but you notice those earrings sitting there. You're thinking to yourself, hey, she forgot her earrings. She got to come back and get them. And I'll be here when she does. I'm doing all right. Give myself a high five. Now, thank you very much, folks. Rich Scheidner. Don't go away, because Thomas McLeod will be back with one of the country's top comedians, Ellen DeGeneres, here at the Great American Music.